Hi, everyone. Very nice to meet you all. Uh, my name is Will Stewart. I am the CEO and co-founder of Norflank. We're an application uh, deployment platform, um, and we, um, we just announced our Series A. Um, but let's get right into it. Everyone in this room is currently thinking about how to build a platform to help their engineering teams. You've either built one, or currently building one, or have replatformed recently. You're all infrastructure experts, but the job is not getting any easier. From year one to year 10, some would say that it's actually got more, more difficult. Uh, could maybe we see a raise of hands? Do you think that Kubernetes is harder today than it was 10 years ago? It's quite a few hands. Not, not everyone, though. <laughs> um, you have an impossible task, because the current primitives are too level, low level. Your application engineering teams are thinking about builds, deployments, pipelines, and releases. They're not thinking about CRDs. They're not thinking about Terraform. They're not thinking about Kubernetes clusters. Um, and they're certainly not thinking about virtual services. So what do we do? We need better abstractions. We all appreciate the value of a better abstraction that improve developer throughput and simplify application development. For example, the Linux kernel, DirectX, Spring Boot, React, Next.js, and the Docker container, and to some extent Kubernetes as well, have all been very successful abstractions of underlying technology. We've all tried to build self-service developer experience in this room. Some have succeeded, some have failed. Um, if your experience of mirrors what we've been hearing across uh, the US and, and, and Europe, is that um, engineering and DevOps leaves are struggling uh, with this self-service developer experience. It's not going very well. Everyone is trying to build a factory when we're all trying to release products. It's difficult to find the right abstraction. Developers are incredibly demanding, as they should be. And we should be building products, not building the factory to ship the product. Doing all of this while keeping the engine running, scaling, disaster recovery, delivering uh, backups, uh, maybe zonal regional redundancy, managing alerts, page duty, it's a tall order. All while leadership want you to do more with less. You're being attacked from all fronts. What are we all trying to do here? Ultimately, we need to write software. We need to ship to production. We need to generate revenue. As engineers, we need to get paid, and then obviously come to KubeCon and get swag. I know, I certainly am. It's my t-shirts for the next six months. So why do we all think in these low-level primitives? Are these primitives really going to help application engineers ship to production? This is why application engineers are frustrated, because this has got nothing to do with Next.js, Golang, .NET, Spring Boot. And that's their world. If I want to order a high availability Postgres deployment, my default approach shouldn't be to reach for a Helm chart and configure 200 different variables. They should, there should be a high level abstraction. YAML, Terraform, and Helm is not a solution. Your engineers need better abstractions. To play the Kubernetes fiddle for all the different cloud providers, different Kubernetes distributions is a dance. It's a very challenging. Uh, balance between dev and ops. You need to find the right balance for high availability, scaling, zonal redundancy, and disaster recovery. It's not easy. What I wanted, Amazon.com, what I got, AWS. Instead of building blocks for infrastructure, let's think about building blocks for workloads. Who has, has bought a product on Amazon.com in the last month and pretty much had a delightful experience? Raise, raise your hands. Pretty much 70% of the room. Uh, leave your hand up um, if you had that same level exper of experience on the AWS dashboard. <laughs> no one's got their hands up. <laughs> um, so in a perfect world, what would that look like? What would an abstraction look like? Engineers need microservices, databases, queues, and jobs. That's ultimately all they require. Yes, some workloads are complex. But at the base level, it's microservices and stateful workloads. 
If you could abstract all of the concepts of infrastructure, CICD, and release management under one abstraction, that would go a long way to help engineering teams. DevOps and devs can manage all of this from a single control plane and implement guardrails that developers can work autonom autonomously within. This platform should think about logs, disaster recovery, auto-scaling, preview environments, and production releases as one abstract through a DSL. We should work backwards from the workloads and not vice versa. Thank you. My name is Will Stewart. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Norflank. We have a booth at the Platform Engineering Day and also in the main event. Um, we're also hiring platform engineers across the world, uh, so please get in touch if you're interested. Thank you.